Hello, Shalom, welcome to Jerusalem and welcome to Israel. Uh, we're going to take you on a unique, absolutely unique uh, tour of Jerusalem today, of the part of the old city of Jerusalem today, uh, close by the area of Zion Gate and the Jewish Quarter. Why is it unique? Well, you might have just seen me take this off. This is my face mask today. Uh, I am uh, running essential services for the municipality of Jerusalem. You might well be aware that the time that this video is going out is during the corona crisis. People can't get out of their houses. Um, I have been volunteered by the CEO of Scout Israel, uh, an amazing and might I say attractive lady by the name of Sarah, my wife, to deliver food for people who can't make it out of the house to get to the supermarket. So this isn't just a, a tour, this is also your opportunity to join me um, in an act of chesed, an act of loving kindness. A quick note on the format, uh, it's very difficult to do a tour whilst carrying heavy boxes of food. So you can get the way back after we have delivered the food. Okay, so pick up your box of food, we're going to go and deliver food for people who are, as it were, under siege inside the Jewish quarter. Follow me. Where are you going? I'm going to um, deliver food to someone that can't go out because, because it, he's maybe old. You heard me mention how Jerusalem's under siege. It was also under siege in 1948. That's the main focus today. We're going to a place called Bate Machse Square, Square of Sheltered Houses. Uh, this is a, plays a key role in the 1948 war when Jerusalem itself was under siege and the old city was surrounded by the Jordanian army. We're looking here at the house where the treaty was signed, donated by Baron Rothschild. You're seeing some information of flash in front of the screen about uh, all of that. So this is the house where the treaty was signed. Uh, the situation was there was heavy, heavy fighting between the Israelis on one side, the Jordanians on the other side. The Israelis put up a very valiant fight and at the end of the conflict they all gathered around this one building to sign the surrender between the Israelis and the Jordanians and the uh, fighters were supposed to give themselves up. By the way, my son's here running in front of the school he might be going to next year, all things being well. So the Israelis all assembled out in front and this gentleman, Abdullah El Tal, received the surrender from this gentleman here, uh, whose name was Moshe Ruznak. Abdullah El Tal called all the defenders of the Jewish quarter to stand forward. Upon seeing so few people, Abdullah Al Tal was reported as saying, had he known so few people were defending the Jewish quarter, he would have not have sent in the artillery. Instead, he would have just sent in his men with sticks to uh, shoo away the defenders of the Jewish quarter. Then all the defenders stood forward so that they could go into exile in Jordan. We're now walking through the exit from Bate Machse Square. We've got a, one of the first schools called a Talmud Torah on the left hand side. We're going to be walking out of Bate Machse Square. We're going to be turning back to have a look at the how the impression of that area is. So this is the tunnel leading to Bate Machse Square. And you can see it looks fairly new because the Jordanians destroyed most of the buildings in the area, except for this building here. This is the four Sephardic synagogues established in the 16th century. The first synagogue was called the uh, Yohanan Ben Zakai Synagogue. The second syn and this is a picture from the 1800s. The second synagogue was called the Istanbuli Synagogue. Yes, you're right, people from Istanbul who came to Jerusalem used to pray there. The middle synagogue was called the Mindical Synagogue because it was in the middle. That's right. And lastly, the back door of the Elijah the Prophet, the Eliyahu Hanavi Synagogue. This is inside the old Ayyubid era mosque. Most famous Ayyubid you probably know is Saladin, the Mount of Olives. 
Uh, we're going to be heading up past some, some shuttered shops, which is shocking. There's no tourists here. This is due to the coronavirus. And we're heading to the corner of the Jewish and Armenian quarters. The Armenians have been, been living in Jerusalem for well over 2,000 years. There are another ancient ethnicity spread out across the Middle East. We're going to be heading up the quarter where, as you can see, behind these walls is the religious compound of the Armenian quarter. Most people know about the Armenians, that there has a big genocide against them in the early 20th century. <laughs> We're now heading through Zion Gate. Uh, technically, the Jewish quarter was conquered in 1948 in the first Arab-Israeli conflict, also known as the War of Independence. And it was conquered uh, by a force known as the Shock Troops, known in Hebrew as Pal Mach. Now, this detachment of Shock Troops was led by a, a later big general in the army, a gentleman by the name of Uzi Narkisi. Uh, been fighting in uh, an area called Katamon previously, a very heavy fight. Uh, all his men have been fighting for all days and days and days. He ordered all his men to charge the gate. See, he set, um, before he did, he set explosives. There's my wife waving. Explosives at the bottom of the gate. And he said, after me, and charged. And he turned around and saw all his men asleep at the gate as they were crouching down to protect themselves from the uh, explosion. They'd all fallen asleep. And for some reason, there was some change in the guards with the Jordanians. So um, they managed to conquer the Jewish quarter for a very short space of time. The problem is the Palmach, they were not a defensive force. They were a shock troop. So they, they left. And then the Jewish quarter later fell to the Jordanians. You just saw Mount Zion and some important information about that, because it's not really Mount Zion probably the Temple Mount or a little bit of the City of David Archaeological Park is better to call that Mount Zion. Uh, we're now looking also at uh, David's tomb or the area leading towards David's tomb, the Room of the Last Supper. We're going to gaze up also at the, the dome of, of the Dormition Abbey, which is supposed to be an important area for Christians, part of the story of uh, the Assumption of Mary. And as we walk along, we're walking now to actually what is technically the first neighbourhood outside the walls of the city. It was originally a girls' school uh, founded by a man called Samuel Gorbat. Um, this was in the, the 19th century. And then we're going to gaze down. We're now higher than the Temple Mount. We'll walk around. We're going to gaze, gaze down at the Temple Mount itself because uh, this is what should be called the Western Hill or the Mount Zion is on a higher elevation than the Temple Mount. So there you go, Temple Mount. I was We're now going to be heading uh, through the area of Samuel Gorbat School, which is now uh, most of it the Diaspora Yeshiva, an institute for outreach, bringing Jews who aren't connecting much to Judaism into Judaism. But funnily enough, one of the most famous students there wasn't even Jewish. It was a guy who was just exploring the idea of Judaism. There we go, Artemis Pyle. It's 12 o'clock and it's time for the people in that church to pray. We have a quick interlude showing me some of the sounds of Jerusalem and my wonderful little boy asking some questions. This is a museum, I believe, founded before Yad Vashem, the first Holocaust Memorial Museum, I believe, in the country. Hi, so thank you for joining us on that wonderful tour of the Jewish Quarter, of the Zion Gate, and the area around Zion Gate. Um, what we're going to do now is a very important concept in Judaism is called Hakarat HaTov, recognising the good. We also call that saying thank you. So we're going to say thank you to some of the main workers here. Firstly, we have Nathan. Wave and say 
Hello to the uh, to everybody. This is Nathan. He helped carry the boxes. This is this is Zaki. He is the uh, bread carrier, bread carrier, and general refreshments manager for the family. <laughs> and here, hold on one second. Very important person to say thank you to. Here, we, here we go. This is Sarah. She, which is the driver, the organizer, the CEO of Scout Israel. Um, hopefully, you'll come with me on the tour. Uh, remember to hit like. Remember to hit uh, subscribe. Remember to uh, to hit a, to put a comment in the background there, and uh, and uh, also remember. You have a mascot. We have a mascot. And also remember to stay home. Don't leave your house during this period of corona. Stay home. Kids. Wait a minute. And of course, the mascot of ScoutIsrael.com, Amichal.